Hi everybody, it's Shannon. Um, today I wanted to give you my good news, which was <clears throat> I was called um, earlier this week to let me know about the fluid um, and what they had found on the cytology report. So, like I said before, whenever they drain the fluid out, part of it they sent off to the lab to see if there were any cancer cells or malignant cells in the um, sample, which would indicate that I had cancer that had spread to my abdominal cavity, which would be a big setback that I just did not want. Um, so when the nurse oncologist called me, um, I was quite excited because I figured if it were bad news, they'd either have me come in or it would have been the oncologist who would have given me the bad news. Um, so she said that the report came back and there were no signs of malignant cells anywhere in the fluid. So that was really good. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, on the flip side of that, I had the procedure done on a Tuesday and then by, I would say, by Saturday, I could feel that some of the fluid was starting to come back. <clears throat> My doctor has kept me on the two different diuretics, um, and I take them every day. But even though I take that, I can still feel it building back up. Now, it's not nearly to the point that it was when I called him the first time to say, I think there's fluid in my abdomen. It kind of feels like after I had lost the eight pounds and I still had some in my, in my middle abdomen that I could feel, that's what it feels like. So I feel like I'm probably toting around about four pounds of extra fluid. Um, and so I'm just going to keep taking the diuretics and see if it does any good. And um, over the long term, I have my chemo on, let's see, on Wednesday um, of next week. So if it's not better by then, I'll just let my oncologist know that I think it's, it's back again. And he might have me go back in and do another paracentesis, which won't be fun, but at least now I know what to expect. So um, I feel good about that. So that was my really happy good news um, this week. I just got back from physical therapy and um, I used to have a range of motion trying to bring my arm up over my head um, of when I first started, it was something like 65 degrees, which is horrible. Um, and then I would say about four weeks ago, it got to 90. And then today, um, it got to about 105. So I really feel like there's some loosening up of my shoulder that's happening. Um, so I feel good about that. Now, that's just the range of motion if I put my arm over my head. If I try and bring it out to the side, you know, that's still, I don't even think that hits 90 degrees. Um, so there are still some things that I can do, and there are some things that my arm just, it, it moves like an inch, and that's it. And it's so funny because sometimes you forget, like, no, no after you've been living with it for so long, you're like, no, you know, it, I don't think it goes back any more than that. And then you do the same thing with your other arm and you see that the other arm does all this other stuff. And so it's kind of funny, but, um, so I was happy with the 105 degrees. Um, I feel like that's really getting better. And I think just being able to bring it over my head will help tremendously in day-to-day -day activities. So right now I'm trying to, you know, be as realistic as I can. And, you know, I know that I may not get all the range of motion back in my arm, um, but as much as I can and in ways that, that I use it on an everyday basis um, is really what I'm trying to go for now. So that's, um, 
my update on my arm. Um, that's really about it. I just been, you know, enjoying going to see my friends for coffee and stuff like that and getting out. And I do think it's really important that, you know, especially now that I'm not working, um, that I try and get out and, you know, see people and talk to people and stuff like that every day because that positive interaction is so helpful. And, you know, it's a way that you yourself can spread kindness, which I think can only help. I saw some little article today in the news that said, you know, by doing good things and showing kindness to others that we help our own health. And of course we do. That, you know, any time that we give to others, any time that we <clears throat> do any sort of community service, you always get back so much more than what you give. Um, so I think that that's important. So that's my update for today. And I will talk to all of you later. So stay strong and be positive and choose to be happy every day and spread kindness. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.